I just wanted to take a minute to go over how to navigate uh, Schoology once you are able to log in. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go up to courses and find your course, which is gonna be your summer geometry honors course. So the first thing you're gonna do is click on that and that will take you to your course for the summer. Now in the course, we will be posting daily announcements announcements with what you will need to do each day. Those are located on the updates button on the left hand side. So once you click on the updates button on the left hand side, each day you'll have a new announcement for what you need to do. Now keep in mind the entire announcement does not necessarily show up. So you need to hit the show more button in order to see everything for your daily announcements. All of your announcements for the entire summer will stay on this page. So just make sure that you take a minute and read over these this weekend before we get started on Monday. You will be spending the majority of your time in the materials tab. So you're going to click on the materials tab, okay? This is your getting started module. Please make sure you click on that first. Okay, notice here this is a link, so you're just going to click on that. That is going, you're going to go through each of these items within this getting started module. So make sure that you understand how to do everything in here. Okay. All right. Anytime you need to go back to your materials, you can either click on this right here. Okay. Or you can click on, actually, that will take you back to your updates. Um, you can always click on materials to get back to this portion. Course information, this is where you're going to be getting your information for your syllabus, um, information for your calendar, and then here's information about your teacher. So once again, in order to go back to your materials, click on here. The learning modules is where you're going to be spending most of your time. So if you notice right now, only unit one is available, but as the days progress, the remainder of the units will pop up. So you're gonna click on unit one basics of geometry. Now, notice how this says right here, unit one basics of geometry. This is going to be where your course materials are. So if you take a minute, you're gonna click on that, Okay, now notice this will say launch lesson one, lesson two, and lesson three. So there are three lessons within unit one. So let's just launch lesson one to see what it looks like. Notice how it takes you to a new screen, okay? Within that new screen is going to be where your course materials are all going to be located. Okay, all right, so notice over here, this says unit one, basics of geometry, check mark means we've gone through that. You can click on lesson one right here, and within lesson one, there's your lesson introduction, okay? And notice how you have the check mark to show you that that's complete. Topic one, page one, okay? Sometimes that might take you to a new screen, okay? So if you, in order to go back, you're actually going to have to go back to your old screen. So you might need to go back to this screen right here. Um, you're gonna have to actually find it in your browser. So it will be the pop-up screen at the bottom. You have to go to your browser and actually find it, okay? All right, so notice we have topic one, page two, topic one, page three. All right, then in order to go to topic two, so this is all of lesson one, you're gonna click on that. Notice how there are three topics here. You can click over here, or if you notice there's also, let's say we start at topic two, page one, there's a next button that you can move through the course materials, okay? So that's where you wanna, this is where all your learning is gonna take place. If you notice right here, here's some practice, and you can check your answers. Okay, so that's where all of your learning is going to take place. Okay, so then to get your quizzes and tests, you can click back on this folder right here um, and click on your quiz. Now, please keep in mind, there's the due date for the quiz, but you will not be able to actually take the quiz until it is opened up on that specific day. So even though we can click on the quiz, you're not going to actually be able to take it. Um, until it's opened on that Tuesday. But notice there, when you click on it, it the test and quiz does not pop up yet. Um, it will tell you when it's accepting submissions. And then this right here, when you click on my submissions, this will actually
actually show you what your quiz looks like, okay? All right, so um, that's your tests and quizzes. You can go to grades right here. Once you click on grades, if you notice, this is gonna tell you that um, formative, which is the course materials is 60%, midterm and final are each worth 20. You can actually click on the quiz right here and that will take you back to that qu same quiz section that I showed you earlier. In order to log on to Zoom, you're gonna click right here. And as soon as you click on Zoom, that will take you to your specific Zoom classroom. All right, um, if you have any questions from there, please let your teacher know. I apologize. One other thing I wanted to point out is if you take a look over here, upcoming, this will tell you what assignments are actually due that day. However, I suggest just going through the getting started module piece by piece to do your assignments, as well as the learning modules in order to get all of your assignments to make sure that you're doing them in the correct order.